Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I have been decorating for fall today. I pulled out my fall decor. My kids have been asking me when I'm gonna decorate. They're super excited for holiday season. It is so crazy to me that tomorrow is October 1st. I just cannot even believe it. I thought that this year was gonna go by so slow because of Corona and um, it has actually gone by really fast, which is just bizarre to me. So I pulled out my stuff to decorate today. I have not shown the kids yet. They're both at school today, so I am going to film their reactions. My husband asked me to do that. He is out of town in Gulf Shores for the next two weeks um, working at Hurricane Sally. Um, Hurricane Sally hit a few weeks ago, but they still had a ton of damage, so he's down there doing damage control. And I decided to film today and um, share with you my fall decor. So. When I pulled out all of my fall decor, I actually have a ton of stuff to drop off at Goodwill. Um, things that are still in really good shape, but it's just not my style and my color scheme anymore. I buy new things here and there every year, and that way my collection grows. Well, you know, 10 years ago, I loved a lot of browns and oranges and rusty colors for fall, and that's just not my thing anymore. I like a lot of brighter, more neutral colors. So with little pops of like teal and pink and maybe a little bit of orange, um, but really not that much orange, <laughs> really not that much. So I'm gonna go shop and I'm gonna go to Kirkland's. I love Kirkland's. A lot of my home decor is from Kirkland. So I wanna go there and see if I can find any new home decor for fall. So yeah, I'm gonna go and see what they have. So I'll share with you um, if I do pick up any new fall pieces and share with you how I decorated my house. I also have a lot of home decor updates that I wanna share with you guys. We have been in this house now for two years and we were in our last house for seven. Um, our first home that we owned together was a new build. So all of our appliances we did an appliance package and got all of our appliances. Um, and all of those appliances that we brought to this house have, um, you know, decided to bite the dust. They are almost 10 years old. They were a very basic standard fridge and washer dryer. So we recently had to purchase um, a fridge and a washer and dryer set. So I'll update you guys on that. It was definitely time um, our refrigerator had been leaking, which then damaged our floors. Um, and then the water line kept freezing on us. And then our washer and dryer, I've noticed that our clothes have been getting holes in them and the dryer was making a horrible squeaky sound, I guess. Whatever rubber piece is in there that um, helps it to rotate smoothly, I guess that had worn down. And we knew it was time to buy a washer and dryer, so I didn't want to pay for repairs done on an almost 10 year old dryer. Speaking of the floors getting damaged, my husband filed an insurance claim and because the fridge had damaged our floors and they are going to replace our floors. We are going back to the wood look tile, which is what we had put in at our first home and that is just indestructible. You can clean it with whatever you want. Um, it doesn't get scratched or chipped or anything from kids and dogs. It's just the absolute best. We miss our wood look tile so much. So we're gonna put that back in here. So yeah, I am gonna stop chip chatting and head to Kirkland's. stuff, huh? Some of it's a little spooky. This little happy Halloween sign is so cute. Lainey, show me the things that we're going to put on the fireplace. What you got in your hand? Oh, yes. Show me what you got in your hand. Show me what's in those boxes. Turn them around so I can Halloween. see. Halloween. A little Halloween garland to put on our fireplace. Yep. We're going to get this little happy Halloween sign because that is Daddy super cute. Spooky ghost. Huh? Daddy, need a ghost? No, I don't think Spooky ghost. I mean, we need that. 
You think we need that? Yep. That little truck is cute though, huh? Yeah, I need those. Do we need that? I don't know. Let's see what else they have. Okay. <gasps> I well, really like these. It's a cat. I really like these white skeletons. They would look really cute. They do. In front of our front door, but hey, I'd be worried that. That's our bones. Their bones. Yep, that's Even our Even that little boo ghost stand. I think those are only twenty-five a piece, which isn't bad, and they're pretty large. You like the witches, huh? Yep. They have really sparkly outfits. Yeah. So I really like this blue rug. I really like the print on that because I added a little bit of blue into the living room. So I was wanting a blue rug. That one's really, really nice. It's hard to show the whole thing. It's a seven by 10. I really like the color. Um, Halloween. We need a what? A jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. A jack-o'-lantern for Halloween? All right, Lainey spotted some dog costumes. So she wants to look at those. And now we can I'm not going to get any pumpkin sister because I think we have enough at home. I really need to pull out our fall decor to see exactly what we have. We got lots of pumpkins and stuff though, huh? So I'm editing the video and I realized there's no transition from shopping to decorating and to showing you all of the updates. So this is my transition. I am not dressed and ready to film today, but it's totally fine. So. I didn't really find anything that I really wanted. The only things that I purchased new this year were the Happy Halloween sign and the Ghost and Pumpkin Garland from Home Goods. Um, I just didn't. I didn't really find anything that struck my fancy. I did make that one pumpkin and eucalyptus cupcake tier stand that I have already mentioned in a video and I talked about it on Instagram. Um, but other than that, oh, and then the, I did get a rug for the front porch, but I didn't really get too many fall decor items. Now I have a lot more like standard regular home decor updates and items that I have gotten in the last six months that I am sharing in this video, but that stuff is all year round. So there's a little bit of everything in this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I hope you guys enjoy the new home updates. Okay, I have to hurry and film the porch because it is starting to rain, but the newest things that I added to the porch this year is the new doormat and the harvest sign. So the harvest sign I got last year from Home Goods, but I had it indoors, so I decided to put it on the porch this year. The little F pumpkin is from Kirkland's last year, but they do have them again this year. I think they also have them in a standard orange. I love our rug and I think I'm going to leave this here permanently. So the Buffalo plaid rug is from Amazon. I ordered it off of Amazon and then the home sweet home rug is from Target or the doormat is from Target. These are always here. It's just two um, little lanterns and then that ceramic bird from my parents and then our fall wreath is from Home Goods. Last year or the year before? I want to say it was the year before last. Yeah, year before last because I had this last year and the year before that. So um, very minimal decor out here. I would love to have a couple of mums. So this weekend I may go look for some mums and put them out here on the front porch as well. But yeah, that is the front porch decor for fall 2020. So we're starting in my front entryway and I have done a lot of work in the front entryway. We've added a rug. I started a gallery wall. I hung a mirror. Um, this rug is from Ruggable. I placed two rug orders from Ruggable. This one is a five by seven. The name of this one is the Hendesi Haris Abalone rug. I hope I pronounced that correctly. But this is a five by seven and it fits perfectly in this front entryway. It has like a little bit of gray and different blue tones in it. It just really suits this room. And some of the blues are a little bit of a blue green. So it complements the greenery in the room really, really well. And then I built our gallery wall around this centerpiece here. The centerpiece is from Kirkland's, 
The frames are an 11 by 14, but then the actual picture size in the center are five by sevens. I got the frames from Target. They have different colored frames, but I really love the gold. And then I just put some of my favorite pictures of me and Kevin, our family, each of the kids, the kids together. Kevin's been wanting a gallery wall and pictures in the house for forever. So I also put a few pictures on this piece of furniture here. This piece of furniture is a really cool custom piece of furniture that my parents got for me a few years back. Here are a few more of our favorite pictures of Kaysen and Lainey from her newborn shoot, me and Kevin at an LSU game, go Tigers, and then Kaysen and Lexi from our trip this summer to Florida. So yeah, I really love this piece of furniture and I just can't part with it. Um, I think it's so cool. This mirror is also a really cool piece. I got this also from Kirkland's. A lot of my stuff comes from Kirkland's. I love that store. I love the braided detail on the mirror. It just really adds some texture and just a cool accent to the wall. And then it's a little bit rustic looking with the little gray bits in it. But um, yeah, I didn't know what to put here. I didn't want another arch or anything like that. So I thought a mirror would be perfect. Moving on to the living room, there are a few new all the time home decor pieces in here. And then this is where I also started decorating for fall inside. So I'm gonna go over everything new. This first thing is our fiddle leaf tree. It is a faux tree from Hearth and Hand Magnolia from Target. I love this little tree. Now it would have been cool to have a real one, but I can barely keep a succulent alive. So there is no way in heck I'd be able to keep a real tree alive. But I really like this one. It's really good quality. I think it was a pretty good price. Faux trees can be pretty pricey, but I was happy with this one. These little pumpkins are from the dollar spot last year at Target. I love the mustard yellow. I love the white. The dark teal matches our new pillows on the couch. So I put those there. I love decorating the fireplace and the mantle for holidays. And it's one of my favorite just all the time decor spots in the house. I have so much fun decorating the fireplace. It's such a focal point. So I really like to have fun with it. So I left some of our all the time decor pieces and just kind of moved them around. And then of course made room for the fall decor for this year. This happy fall sign is a few years old from Home Goods. Home Goods always has a really good selection. The two white pumpkins are from Target and then the little owl is from Home Goods. This is the garland that I purchased this year from Home Goods. The kids absolutely love the garland. It's so fun for them. Lainey picked it out from Home Goods. They were so excited to see it when I surprised them with it after school one day. Um, I like to do fun little things for them, especially at the age they are now. The little pumpkins are from Target in the Target dollar spot last year. I again love these colored pumpkins. The pumpkin patch sign is one of my favorite fall decor pieces. It's from Kirkland's I think two years ago. And then these are the new pillows on the couch. We wanted to add some color so I thought this dark teal color would be really nice especially with a lot of the greenery that we have in the house. So both the big teal pillow and the small one are both hearth and hand magnolia. I just really love that line. It's very in tune with my style and what I like and this pop of color, I think, just went perfectly because I don't like a lot of color. I get tired of a lot of color re really easily, so that color just works. And then this is the kitchen. I have more fall decor in the kitchen. The fall decor in the kitchen is a little bit warmer. It's like peachy tones, nudes, pinks. This pumpkin, love this pumpkin. It is so pretty. I got this from Home Goods a few years back. The stem, the color. The texture it is just so pretty and I love the color of it so much so I still left a lot of my normal decor out and just incorporated the pumpkins with it the little happy Halloween sign is from home goods this year and then the stuffed kitty cat and then the little boo ghost are from Target two years ago I believe um, again this is one of the kids favorite little decor spots. Um, they are just all about the Halloween stuff and the spooky stuff. 
This is our second rug from Ruggable. This is the Damali black and white rug and I love it for its size. It's a two and a half by 10. And this size is really difficult to find. And I love the color of this. I think it matches our kitchen perfectly. It's a little bit tribal too which is really cool and different. I get a lot of compliments on this rug from family and friends that come over. This, I've had this decor piece for a long time. It's from Home Goods, and I love it so much. I love this color story. The pumpkins I have in the kitchen match this as well. I love the pink, the nude, the peachy tones. It is so me and so pretty. This is my eucalyptus and pumpkin cupcake stand that I made this year. I was just so underwhelmed with all of the decor that I saw in the stores, so I decided to make my own. I love adding greenery to any space because it's substantial and really makes a statement and makes a pop. So if you're looking for a really easy way to make an impact in your space, add greenery. I just cut up this eucalyptus strand um, that I got off of Amazon. And then I got a little sack of pumpkins from my local grocery store and I made it. Um, this is another pumpkin from Home Goods, and I'm pretty sure it's the same brand as the other one because they have the same cool little swirly stem. Uh, these are the hand towels that I don't use. I just use them for decor. They're not ironed just because I don't have time for that. But the Hocus Pocus, I need some wine to focus is perfect for me. And then these little trick or tweet Hand towels, my maiden name is Tweet. It's not spelled that way, I have a D in mind, but I saw it and I had to have it. Um, Lainey really likes these as well because the little kitty cats and the little birdies dressed up for Halloween trick-or-treating. Um, this is our new refrigerator. It's a Samsung. We got our refrigerator and I'm gonna show you our washer and dryer. Both came from Best Buy. We went in specifically not wanting a Samsung, but Every appliance is pretty much sold out and they are not making any new ones right now because the factories are shut down for Corona. So we ended up getting a Samsung, but I really, really like it. Um, it is a French door style and then it's got two pull out drawers. One is for our deli stuff and then the other is a freezer. But I love this fridge. It's laid out so nicely. We just really like it. Everything is really easy to get. It's got a really cool feature on it and it's this water pitcher. It automatically fills up and it's got a little space in the center there where you can put fruit or whatever you want to infuse the water, but it automatically refills. This is a game changer when it comes to making my coffee because I just take that pitcher, I dump it straight into the coffee pot and we are good to go. But this is a really nice fridge and it's not super techy. We did not want a super techy fridge because I hear just awful things, but apparently Samsung has, you know, reevaluated their situations and has made their products better. So um, we really, really like this one. It has done us really well so far. This is another really cool feature. The door opens halfway to where you can reach things that you use the most. So I keep the kids cups there, the milk, the coffee creamer, things that we reach for the most. So that is a really cool feature. And then that's this is the second drawer where I just keep our deli stuff. So cheese, salami, lunch meat, hot dogs. You know, that was just the perfect space for that. I felt like I didn't really know what else to put there, but that seems to be working out really nicely for us. And then the bottom drawer is our freezer. And this has a ton of room. So the top drawer, I keep the breakfast stuff, the frozen fruit for smoothies, um, the things that I reach for the most. And then the bottom, I keep, you know, frozen meats, the kids' Uncrustables, frozen bread, just, just the extras, really. It's not super organized right now because we had a can bust in there, so I kind of had to move some stuff around. But that is the kitchen. Um, I really, you know, love our kitchen. I love how it's decorated it's got a few pops for fall but it's still really clean and has my little farmhouse vibe still so this is our new um laundry what i'm losing my train of thought washer dryer there you go there's samsung as well um we had white last time and i just stuck with white appliances again and i specifically got a top loader for a washer i will never have a front loader too many horror stories. I just don't want to fuss with that. And this is like 
a way deeper barrel. It holds a lot more clothes than our other washer. So this comes in handy, especially when we're washing bedding. You know, I wash the kids clothes all together. I like that the top is see-through so you can see inside. And it's like one of those energy smart ones. So you don't automatically put in how much water you need. Um, it's got a lot of different settings too, which is really great. But whenever you first turn it on, it kind of moves around a little bit and it weighs your clothes and it's it there's a sensor in there and it knows exactly how much water to put in it's really really cool and then the dryer is also oversized which i love um, and it's super quiet so i'm gonna put i can't remember the names of the appliances per se but i'll look back at my order history and i will link the washer and dryer i will link the refrigerator all three down below they all came from best buy finding appliances right now y'all is really really hard at least it is in my area the samsung's are really the only ones that are in stock all the other brands were out of stock and if we wanted to order they wouldn't be here until the end of the year and we could not wait that long but that is going to be it for this video you guys i hope you really enjoyed getting a peek into our fall decor for this year shopping with me for fall decor and all of our home decor updates i will definitely keep you guys updated like on our flooring we still have not gone to look at flooring or anything but that is definitely our next big step we're also considering installing plantation shutters we just really want to make this house everything that we want it to be in more because we do plan on being here until laney goes to college so we plan to be here for a long time so we want to make our house just our perfect home so i will definitely keep you guys updated thank you guys so much for watching and for subscribing and i will see you guys again very soon bye Oh, 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 oh,